I um key time. Oh, you found the key. Maybe you, maybe you do get interest, but it takes as long as it does in real life. That too. The receptionist, along with the squad, the nurse squad, led Mr. Palermo out of the office and upstairs. He still seemed very upset. Thank you again for your assistance. How can we pay you back? I, I don't need payment. However, I do need to speak with Mr. Palermo. I understand. I'll notify the others. Oh, can we explore the hospital now? Sup, old people? Back in my day, the Mafia actually committed cool crimes. What do those Leonardos even do now? Smuggle Pokemon? Who even wants those nonsense Alolan forms? Uh, I think they do much worse than you think. I was, tra I was a traveling businessman when I was young. I met all sorts of interesting people and Pokemon on my adventures. My family never comes to visit me. Yikes. I've never met an Arcanine I didn't like. If you show me one, I'll give you a reward. I'm not trying to spend 10 grand on a Firestone, but sure. Anyways, uh, let's, let's explore. Oh yeah, because I am quite behind. I need to refresh. Oh, these areas. Uh, our residents prefer peace and quiet. No, I'm not so sure about that. Hello, ma'am. This place is absolute purgatory. Yikes. Oh, honestly, I'm, I'm getting really tired. Damn. I might have to step out. All right. I'm, Whoa. I'm sorry. Uh, bruh, Auto Mod just flagged you, <laughs> Foxel, for that Browns comment. What? Catered five used added permitted term. Holy shit, the Browns. Thirty five to seven, and there are thirty seconds left of the second quarter. Foxel, did you notice they were up twenty eight to nothing at the end of the first quarter? All right, I'm out. All right, see ya. See ya. Colonel Elmeo? I don't know. Oh my god, I can't believe it. It's the Browns. They're using up all of their luck over like the past 100 years on one game. Anyways, I'm merely tidying this room for the occupant. Uh, sure. I am not about to go into Palermo's room. I hadn't checked the game until now. Yeah, it is, uh... Ah. Uh, what code is this, guys? Is this like, uh, is this code blue? Is this what code blue is? Code blue, code blue. Oh, never mind. He's just laid on the ground. I'm counting dots on the ceiling. What would you, uh, would you like to guess what number I'm at so far? Sure. Ah, uh, uh, let's go. Let's go 420. <laughs> I'm afraid your guess was wrong. I'm at 695. How was I supposed to know that? Uh, hello, ma'am. Unfortunately, Mr. Palermo is still kicking up quite a fuss. The number is randomly generated. This is literally impossible. <laughs> Bro, so you have a 1 in 1,000 chance of guessing. I will not be taking those odds. Thank you very much. Ecat, what do you get if you get the right guess the right number? Nothing or something? Do you get anything if you guess the right number? Whew. Sorry. Jesus. <laughs> Detective Lafayette, what brings you here? Um about your daughter, uh, Lucy. I forgot Palermo's kid was Lucille. Uh, she wants to kill me. What are you talking about? Lucille wouldn't hurt a fly. Palermo seems intimidated. Um, she's a literal so sociopath. My daughter is... I don't care. Be... You get a bunch of max revives. Honestly, probably worth it in this game. Uh, she's married to the Don. Now, now, I have no idea what you're referring to. Lucille's husband is very friendly and a loving man, much like herself. Uh, so we have to, so we have to strike up a conversation. She's a lovely woman. <laughs> yes. Ash and Frost, one hundred percent run requires you to guess the number. Ah, yes, the speed run. Uh, yes, it's too bad that she's been so busy raising a family of her own. Um, why are you here? Uh, Lucille left me here. 
I've been trying to get back to the daycare ever since, but these nurses are too persistent, they won't let me leave. Okay. Can I do that? Uh, you yourself said that Lucille left you here. Given how you've been trying to leave, I assume that was it was against your will. Well, Lucille is my only daughter. Surely you can't expect me to speak against her. She's a threat to others. I refuse to listen to this. She's complicit in kidnapping. That's the family she's been busy raising. She would have killed one of her husband's friends if she hadn't been stopped. And what would one last gangster in the world, hmm? Hardly what I'd call a loss for this city. Ash and Frost is 100% fun and requires you to get... Uh, bruh. So you know who's, who she's married to then? Really no. Then She's killed at least one innocent that I know of. Monty. Stop it. Please. What would it take to get you to talk about this? I can find a way to sneak you out of here. I did the receptionist a favor, and I'm sure she'd let us leave together. She's paying them off. Hmm? It won't work. Then there's got to be some other way to get Palermo out of here. Maybe I should go back to my apartment and talk with the others. They might know what to do. Ah, so we have to uh, speak with the others. All right. Let's... Chief says cry people equals bad. Cap. Put him in a trench coat. <laughs> Put him in a trench coat. Oh, the wrong one. Why do I always forget which one it is? Hello, sir. Mr. Detective, good to see you're back and not throwing another tantrum about your apartment being taken over. Oh, believe me. I was tempted. But speaking of taking over, I asked my girlfriend... Cordelia to help out. She's got connections with various archives, so we might learn something useful about the Leonardo family. Huh, I see. That's not what I came here to talk about. I need help breaking out Lucille's father from the retirement home. Break him out? What kind of crazy place are they running? One where Lucille pays off the workers there. Huh. Well, if we want to be technical, I still have a contract with the Leonardos. The bodyguard company I work for assigned me the position because no one else would take it. I could possibly pull rank and say that I'm removing him from the premises on Lucille's orders. I think that could work. Pascal went to the retirement home. It might take him a while to persuade the workers there, so I think I'll check around here with the others in the meantime. Yes, let's talk to the, our resident idiot, Mordecai. What have you been up to, Mordecai? I love Mordecai's theme. I don't know what it is. I just love it. Um, well, I've been thinking, Sil. Lou, uh, Roswell kind of pointed out that I have... That I... <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Be nice. He's a resident idiot, but he's also the resident my favorite character. So, you know, kind of balances out, right? Well, I, uh, Roswell kind of pointed out that I have no useful abilities or redeemable character traits. What? That isn't true, and you know it. But I know. Hold on. You're defending me? I mean, well, yeah. Right. But like I was saying, he's, he's trying his best. I know. That's why I like Mordecai so much, and you can just tell. I don't really have a lot of skills. I'm not sneaky like Luciano or tough like Pascal, but I'm still the one who gets harassed by the police. That's your, that's it right there, bro. You're our distraction. <laughs> that's exactly what it's going to end up being. I know a lot of people in Riverview, not just the criminals, have a problem with the police too. A major part of that problem must be that the Don of the Mafia is also the chief of police. So why don't we reveal his identity? That's a good question, but it's a little more complicated than just one person. The entire institution is the problem, not just an easily identifiable figurehead. You're right about this, Sil, but at least you guys weren't as bad as when Chief Spurl was in charge. Also true, things really changed after Spurl's retirement. 
Save that idea for later, Mordecai. I think you might be on to something. I have returned. Hi. I thought you were going to bed. I did too. <sighs> I'm feeling better. Nice. Say so that idea for later, Mordecai. I think you might be onto something. Okay. Oh, that's uh, I literally forgot her name already. Pascal's girlfriend. No. All right. Luciano. Ah! Ah! What? Ah! You. <laughs> Brett. I love Luciano. I love all these characters. <laughs> All right, achoo. I'm beginning to think that the sneezing is deliberate at this point. So what brings you to my corner of the room? Just checking in, what have you been up to? Well, Pascal's girlfriend had me shifting through books and records since she's come here. Nothing too exciting. Cordelia, that's what it is. Oh, hello, detective. Luciano is patient zero. Of what? Oh, hello, detective. I trust Pascal already explained why I'm here? Yes, he did. My home is slowly being taken over. Whatever happens, we're in this together. And truth be told, I'm glad I can keep an eye on Pascal as well. After his brother, you get to <laughs> picture all diseases. He's patient zero of all diseases. Found any leads yet? Say, you're a Lafayette, aren't you? Yes, I am. Would you mind going into the archives in Old Riverview for me? For me? I need to cross-check some information. Ugh. I hate Old Riverview. It's disgustingly quaint. Here, I'll write down the files I want for you. Disgustingly quaint. Meanwhile... Uh. Hmm. Why are we in the daycare? I thought we were going to the nursing or the retirement home. Hey you, Baldy. Who you? Who are you calling Baldy, Blondie? We don't serve you gangsters anymore. Scram! Hey hey. First of all, I'm not a gangster. I'm a bodyguard. Second of all, I'm not bald. Third of all, I'm just scoping out the place. It's safe to come in, sir. Mr. Palermo, oh my gosh, we've been worried sick about you. My apologies, Catherine. It wasn't my intention to worry you, and I tried to return to the daycare as quickly as I could. This gentleman I here or skid escorted me back. We thought we thought aw something awful had happened. Right. You could put it like that. <laughs> Detective, Palermo wouldn't talk, and I didn't exactly want to rough up an old man in front of his overprotective daycare staff. But he did give me this. A key. Huh. Um. Oh. Uh. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Never mind. Not important. Shouldn't it be Catherine and not Catherine? <laughs> not sure I've seen that spelling before. Yeah. Uh. I would assume it's the first spelling, but. I don't know. People spell their names in different ways. Um, okay, let's take a look because we have um, we can go to Old Riverview and we also oh we don't have the key in the case of research or whatever. But interesting. Time to uh go and uh do some uh. Detective work, I guess. Huh. You're right, though. Uh, I don't remember who said it. I'm pretty sure multiple people said it. But when whoever said K6 was long, you were right. Rosewell has fucked off again to know to who knows where. Yeah, sounds about right. Probably seeing Wait, his uh, kid. Are you finally uh, doing the actual case? Yeah, I'm doing the actual case. Okay. Central Link Fashion District, Nettle Bloom, Old Riverview East, Old Riverview West, Palermo. Oh, the Palermo home is in Old Riverview East. So that is definitely where we need to go. 
So let us explore. Oh wait, so that's where that's past the cemeteries. That's Rosewood's MO. So I've uh, figured out. <laughs> Anyways, uh, vanishes, reappears to bark out some orders, leaves again. Sounds like someone. Sounds like the type of person Rosewell is, you know? Anyways, let us uh, hopefully be able to go north um, from this cemetery. Uh, uh, Dick? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, just up north of the cemetery is Old Riverview East. The lore. Uh oh. Ah! Uh. Deep breath. <sighs> All right. Lore time. Just up north of the cemetery is Old Riverview East. I can't say I'm enthusiastic to return. I guess I don't have much of a choice, though. Time to get recognized by everyone living there. Oh, we are meeting our family, apparently. Uh, okay. Uh, that's my guess. You there. Me, uh, here. You're a Lafayette if I've ever saw one. What's your name? Sylvester. Yeah, yeah, Sylvester what? Uh, Sylvester the Fourth. Wow, that would make us, uh, let's see. Third cousins five times removed. <laughs> Or maybe it's fifth cousin three times. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. What brings you to these parts? It's not often we meet a Lafayette we don't recognize. Well, I'm a detective. And I need to visit the archives. That and make a stop at Mr. Palermo's home. It's strange. If I recall correctly, very few people outside of the family live here or own property. Ugh, it'd be creepy if Lucille and I were related. I don't think being eighth cousins and times removed would stop her from wanting me dead. Well, good luck finding what we what you need. Bruh, I don't like this music. It's <laughs> I don't like the feeling I get from it. <laughs> I don't know. I I feel like we aren't supposed to like this, but it's very homey music, obviously, because this is our home, but huh. I don't know. Riverview is nice for a visit, the idea of living in a city uh, where there's still an active mafia is sort of a scary one. Kakariko Village is great, and also <laughs> gone from YouTube. I'd much rather live somewhere like Hoenn, where the criminals try to flood the entire world or turn it into a dusty plain. I'm Perhaps... sorry, I thought, I thought Kakariko Village was mentioned in the dialogue for a moment. I was like, what? Or will the turn, uh, uh, or perhaps Kalos, where the criminals just want to destroy the entire planet. Yeah. It all seems much safer if you ask me. If you don't know what Kakariko Village is, it's a village from probably every good Zelda game. <laughs> this, this makes sense. Um, I said that's... And by that, I mean it's, it's in four that I can think of off the top of my head. Okay. Uh, I said that Sarsparilla? Isn't it Sarsparilla? If I remember correctly? I don't know. Uh, I said that Sarsparilla and Rut Beer were basically the same thing, and then a bunch of angry Lafayettes practically jumped me and gave me a lecture. Interesting. Uh, hi, Amphi. Oh! We can catch this thing! Can we? How many Again, quick balls do we have? We only have five quick balls. Yikes. Please catch. Ah, there it is. Alright. There we go. That's the first Pokemon we've caught in this episode. I just refreshed and I'm still like 10 seconds behind. Oh, uh there. -huh. Gee, I wonder why the water in these uh, troughs isn't frozen. Not unless. Hey! There is water in here, right? I would believe so. That sounds like someone who knows that there isn't water in the troughs would say. Uh, okay? 
Oh, that's why I'm behind. Okay. I'm not allowed in the tavern. It's not fair. They don't even serve alcohol. They just have sarsaparilla. You want me to buy one for you? Really? Would you do that? Sure, why not? What is... Am I saying, saying it right? Is it sarsaparilla and not sarsaparilla? Because I don't know. Lafayette's family has been making sarsaparilla since we immigrated from Sinnoh. I actually married into the family. I'm not a real Lafayette. I dye my hair and put in blue contacts to hide the truth. Alcohol has a lower freezing point than water. It's sarsaparilla? Okay. I'm just saying it wrong. Fun. Hey, Silvio. Uh, come and take a seat. And what's up with the new outfit? It's Sylvester. Uh, whoops, sorry. I mistook you for someone else. Sarsaparilla. Good to know. Well, I can't believe uh, Silvana would do that to Sylvie. I told Sylvia that if she could tell Slyer to tell... Sylvester, he could go jump down the well. <laughs> Bruh. This is cursed. This dialogue. <laughs> hey, now didn't you didn't hear it from me, but there's something suspicious about that sign in the corner. There's a switch behind this sign. Should, should I press it? Oh, uh, Team Rocket? You know, old as these buildings are, we don't know everything about them. Even though we don't serve alcohol here, we still keep minors out. It gives the adult a safe space to get away from the noisy kids. Name's Sylvan, and you... No, wait, let me guess. It's Sylvester. Surprise, Sylvester's family is the Nurse Joy equivalent of the city. They all look the same. <laughs> I can tell. I know he pronounced my name right, but for some strange reason, I can't help but feel he got it wrong at the same time. If you're going to keep talking to me, at least buy me a sarsaparilla. Sometimes I don't know if it's a good thing I don't resemble the family at all. Oh, that's probably a good thing. Lux Diablo, welcome to the stream. How's it going? They've got genuine hey. sarsaparilla here. I hear that's not actually good for your health, though. Uh, I'm afraid we're all out of sarsaparilla at the moment, and since that's the only thing sold here, you'll have to come back later, try going around town a bit and talk to the others. Um, Would you like to buy some bitter medicine? Sure. Oh, never mind. Let's not do that. Let's go down here. So, oh my god, we have barrels on top of barrels on top of barrels. Alright, battle... Not battle time? Ouch, These, those two idiots, they're taking their jobs as historical actors too seriously. Let me guess, they're supposed to pretend to be bootleggers. Yep, now I have to find substitutes. I don't suppose you're qualified to act as one by any chance. Uh, probably not. Hello there, sir. Hick, hick. Howdy, cousin. Black. Hey, uh, are... Are there two of you standing there? Yikes, someone's a little, uh... uh eight people watching. What out there? Wow. This... That's crazy. Alright. I'm overwhelmed by how, how many... Sylvester clones there are. Oh, there's a Zatu. There's a Whimsicott. That might be useful at some point. Let us go into... Uh... Truffles, because Rock Tomb probably won't kill this thing? Who knows, maybe you're related to Sylvester. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm related to anyone in this city because I am 0% Italian. <laughs> Let's go ahead to Rock Tomb. Ah, we missed Rock Tomb. And it would be like me, though, to like dislike uh, extended family members, though, because I do that already. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Only one side. Not sure if that makes it better or worse. Anyways, let's go ahead and try and catch this Whimsicott. And let's throw. Can we catch this thing in a Great Ball, possibly? Bruh. Come on. I know you can stay in the Pokeball, Whimsicott. I know you can. Let's go to... Oh, we can get level balls. That's right. 
Uh, let's go Ultra Ball right now, and if not, then we'll go to Level Ball. There we go. Uh, Whimsicott nicknames. Anyone in chat? Anyone in call? Anyone have ideas for a nickname of Whimsicott? We've already done Candy Cane. We might as well do Candy if we type it out all the way. We can. Sweet. Thanks, Fox Elf, for the nickname idea. Because, you know, I would never have been able to come up with one. Okay. Uh, hello. This isn't a wishing well, but I wish you well. Oh, and uh, I'm totally not standing guard or anything. This well definitely isn't also a secret hideout. Good to know. Oh, hello there. Since coming here, I've learned a lot about Riverview City's history. I mean, who knew that no one calls a river by a name because it's supposedly cursed? Um, interesting. I didn't even know that. <laughs> What's in here? My parents really like sarsaparilla, so maybe we have a bunch in the basement. They say sometimes the gangsters would come here to hide bootlegged alcohol among the sarsaparilla. Lots. Ah, this is like our, our drunk man cave down there, clearly. And we're getting closer. That was our niece. Also, if we can catch a Mudsdale. Ooh, if we can catch a Mudsdale. I love Mudsdale. Such a good Pokemon. Such a good Pokemon. Level 48. Let's Leech Seed. Mega Kick. Missed. All right. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, I assume Mach Punch probably won't do too much because it's a Mudsdale and it does have stamina. High horsepower. That's in oh, get absolutely paralyzed. Thank you. Hopefully, it'll be easier to catch you now that uh, you know you're paralyzed. Maybe a Great Ball will do the trick. Possibly. Let's see. There we go, we got a Mudsdale. Um, I had a nickname for Mudsdale. Not really sure uh, what to nickname it. If you have a, a nickname, uh, let me know in the chat or in the call. Oh, wait. Never mind, I got one. There we go. Donkey. <laughs> Forgot about that. Oh my goodness. Even though it's probably a horse, I don't care. Hello, are you a nurse? I'm a nurse in training. Thank you. Alright. What else is going on around here? Donkey. Um, did I check out both did I check out this house? I don't think I actually did No, I didn't one day I'm gonna leave this dust heap behind and be something cool like a detective you me and 15 others behind us kid Yeah, what do you know? You're not my real uncle to be fair. We're just cousins of some sort Yikes, oh That's interesting Bro. Out of everyone here, I think we resemble each other the most. Well. Hello, uh. Former family member. Alright, we can go up here. Oh! Uh, is this. Heh! <laughs> this building is full of historical documents. So the archives. Okay, can we. What do you have to say? Wow, the archives building is amazing. I'm not sure I completely understand why the archives building is just where all the Sylvesters live, but hey. Let's... I'm actually going to save in case something crazy happens, which I don't think will. But you never know. There you are, Sylvester. You were outside counting for a really long time. I think you've got the wrong Sylvester. 
How many Sylvester's dressed like detectives can there be? I couldn't tell you. I haven't lived here in years. None of my immediate family does. Well, you do at least remember how to play cops and robbers Lafayette style. I've been trying to get the children out of my hair for ages, and Sylvester volunteered to help. Well, yes, but I just wanted to make a stop uh, to the back archives. Well, if you know how to play, then you know one of the children has the key to it. Go find them. Are you kidding me? 